and the knuckles of the finger has to turn to the ceiling most of us we do like this we place the head and we place the head on the palm which is not here welcome to your youtube channel prashant jay yoga now today whole video i will be teaching you the complete way and the correct way to attempt headstand shirsasana the previous videos if you are new you must see these videos because in previous videos i have explained clearly how to prepare and how to know that you are ready for headstand or not the first video was that you are ready or not second video was the how to prepare which area you need to work and today video complete to enter into shirsasana to stay correctly into shirsasana and to exit from shirsasana the three steps let's begin so as i discussed before that to do shirsasana we need to know what are the base pose of the shirsasana every standing sequence if you do the base asana is samasthiti or tadasana second every sitting sequence you do the base of the sitting sequence is dandasana and every kneeling which you do it is vajrasana and this asana shirsasana the centering pose will be vajrasana so i will i will re request you to come to the vajrasana i will show you from here so i will come to vajrasana like this this way we are doing headstand so the pressure will directly come to the head and i want you to take the folded blanket with you so you will not be feeling that very heaviness in your neck and you will be fully supported so like this i have placed the folded here this my yoga towel you can use a blanket it will be easier for you if the mat is not thick if it is very thin you must use folded blanket make a perfect base for your head and then attempt this asana second once you are in this pose in this vajrasana what you have to do now you place the hands like this see here this you should watch everyone carefully maybe zoom the video and see what i'm explaining you shirsasana when we do we interlock the fingers like this so interlocking fingers means you make the the, the gap you need to fill with the finger like this is first step you need to learn the second step what you will learn in shirsasana there are many ways either wrist together like this or keep it open so first we will i will teach you open palm because that is easier and more supported next when we do shirsasana the base is from the wrist this area from the wrist to the elbow make sure that you will not lift this area and this is a mistake that we do most of us when we are in the final pose many of us still have a gap here and that means you are not having a proper base for your neck and of course sooner or later you will be hurting yourself or you will not be able to balance for longer so i want you to make a proper base so the forearm has to be rested like this this so everyone first learn this way okay this is the first now once you ad adjusted this once the forearm you learn how to adjust on the ground take a distance how much so first hold the the elbow like this and that will be your distance this is how it should be if it goes more than your holding the the shoulder distance what will happen your shoulders will collapse and most of the pressure will come directly to your neck and that is wrong so i want you to pay attention when you are in the pose see everyone here can do easily but when we come to the final pose there we need to be very careful because automatically body has old habits and that old habit disturb everything so i want you to hold this second step and then open the hands as i said before press the forearm like this now interlock make sure that you touch the palm and the knuckles of the finger has to turn to the ceiling most of us we do like this we place the head and we place the head on the palm which is not here the whole head has to rest completely on the floor not on the palm and palm will be back like this supported here the top of the head has to rest so i want you to place here interlock touch here now start pressing the hands press the forearm first when you press the forearm now touch the head completely down 
and then support your back back of the head and once you support this now tuck your toes in like this what i'm doing and lift your knee first you see that the weight is nicely there or the neck is fine once you feel that everything is fine press the forearm and see the elbows if it is going out bring it inside this and once the elbows inside facing front now you will walk you will walk like this walk walk and buttocks will go as high as you can now again adjust again check the neck check the forearm can i press it now bend your one knee touch the thigh to the chest and then toes up first to stay here for 10 second after that switch and prepare 10 second same way here you can take one challenge come to the big toe it will help you to shift the way directly to your arms on the shoulder and will prepare you to the final headstand and then you first relax for few seconds after relaxing come to the final again readjust palm facing up interlock your fingers press the knuckles move the knuckles upward press the forearm completely that should not change and then place the head here tuck your toes lift the knee walk inside and walk that much where you feel that your thigh is touching the chest and belly now bend the knee and lift up that's that much here and knees together stay and balance prepare the core first do not jump completely to the final pose no need once you feel that you can do that first one leg up extend do the variations then second leg up extend and then from here move the shoulders away from your ears toes pointed tuck your tailbone in straighten the legs balance the body stay here few breath deeper if you feel that the breath became heavy it means something is wrong pressure is going there and when you want to come up, come down from this asana you bend first one balance second balance and then slowly lend down and rest the forehead either hands forward or backward relax headstand is not only the balancing asana it is more than that it is inversion centering pose so you should not learn just to balance the body because many of us what we do we just go to the pose like this we just go we place the head and we jump like this no never do this go properly go with the steps so you will not be only working with balance you will be working with center body and that's how the benefit comes so it is not an inversion otherwise when many of us what we do we jump and then we do like this and then we are arching the back this way this we do this will never come straight if you don't know how to keep this three area of the body strongly adjusted and that's what the last video was about to prepare the base and then work now the question come how much to do so first of all those who are beginner i will recommend first if you are trying first time go near the wall use the same technique so even if you feel that you can maybe fall you will have support or tell someone to stand nearby and then attempt this asana this is first beginner start staying 10 second first 20 second increase then 30 second second by second you will go 10 10 second you will increase the number those who are regular they will go start with a minute one minute two minute and those who are not the kind of regular practitioner they will minimum stay three minutes if you don't stay three minutes in shir sasana benefit will not be that much what is mentioned in scriptures what is mentioned in yogic text minimum three minutes if you like the video please share subscribe the channel if you are new and press the bell icon so for the next video you will get notification you can practice with me learn properly nicely understand if you have any question please write in a comment so i can give you answer and we can connect together stay safe stay happy see you next video namaste exhale lock place 
exhale touch inhale lift the knee walk and straight up shoulders back belly flat toes pointed and close the eyes if you want <sighs> 